Hello YouTube, this is Cruise Man out on the 2018 Honda Goldwing Tour in Carrollton, Texas. They call me Cruise Man. I've put more than 150,000 miles on Honda Goldwings riding all over this amazing country. Thousands of Goldwing owners have used my videos to guide them when working on their own bikes or considering which aftermarket products to purchase. I love riding and wrenching. These are my motor vlogs. Trying to get my last ride in for a few days because the cold weather is coming. It's about 60 degrees right now and kind of windy, so you can tell something's blowing in. And we're supposed to be getting thunderstorms and all kinds of stuff this weekend. So it's going to get down into the 20s and 30s this weekend so I probably will not be able to ride and it's been a while since I've done a motor vlog I've been really really busy finishing up those uh, 2018 plus Goldwing maintenance videos which by the way have been a huge success so far far exceeded my expectations we released those on January 1 I want to thank all of you who signed up for the pre-orders and those of you who have ordered since that time. This being my first motor vlog for 2019, I thought it would be a good chance to kind of look back at 2018. You can probably hear that wind coming through. It's really windy today. But you know, 2018 was kind of a breakout year for Cruise Man's Garage is least on the YouTube channel. We had more than 1.2 million views in 2018, which translated into 5.8 million minutes watched of my YouTube videos. That's pretty amazing. And we added more than 6,000 new subscribers. That's a 46% increase over 2017 so I appreciate all of you guys that not only subscribe but you've been telling your friends about it you've been spreading the word about Cruise Man's Garage on your various forums and your Facebook page and your Instagram and Twitter in fact that brings me to another point I appreciate it if you guys follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram if you're on those social media platforms. The more followers, the better. And uh, if you like these motor vlogs and you enjoy these videos and you get some value from it, please take a second to subscribe, click on that little subscribe button down below. And if you click on that little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when I come out with a new video. So that was 2018, just an exciting year all the way around. I think 2019, I said 2018, 2019 is going to be an ever, even better year, I think. So lots of exciting things coming up. And I recently posted my F4 Customs windshield video. A lot of you have already watched it. It's the one I did on the 2016 trike. Uh, I went down to Dream Machines here locally in Texas. Dream Machines of Texas are a large used motorcycle dealer, probably the largest in Texas. And they, uh, from time to time, they'll let me use their bike. If I can't source one, they have one in stock, they'll let me use it. So I went down there and did that 2016 trike video and installed two of the different F4 Customs windshields on there and gave them a, a little review, a little test ride. That video was sponsored by F4 Customs, which is nice of them. Which brings me to my next point. For any of you guys in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, if you're looking for a really good deal on an F4 Customs Plus 4 windshield, I just happen to have one sitting in my living room. It's brand new. It only has about two miles on it. I installed it just to make that video and took it, you know, took it right off and took it home with me and I've got it sitting in my living room and I'm either going to have to ship it back to F4 Customs or if somebody locally wants to come by and pick it up and have it put on their bike, uh, you can get a really good deal. Just email me. I'll put the email address down in the description if you're interested. 
Uh, or you may want to ride out to Dallas Fort Worth from you know nearby to get it's a really good deal you're gonna save some money over buying one online and this is the F4 plus 4 for the 2001 to 2017 Goldwing and it has the built-in OEM style vent it's a clear windshield and I'm telling you they are very very nice thicker than stock wider than stock and four inches taller than stock. So if you're over six foot one or six foot two, uh, you might want that taller windshield for your 01 to 2017 Goldwing. Now I also recently completed and posted my Honda fog light video for cyclemax.com. And a lot of you have already made comments on that. You've seen it and made comments about it. You previously had probably seen my video I did for Rivco on their fog light kit and several of you have been emailing me and posting comments asking well which one do I like better what's the difference you know and it's really hard to pick because it's a matter of personal taste the Rivco lights are definitely easier to install because they come with their own proprietary switch and wiring harness and you don't have to take all this plastic off the bike to install them Rivco lights will probably install in about an hour and a half, whereas the Honda lights probably take you about four hours. On the Honda lights, it uses the little fog light switch on the console, and you got to take everything apart just to get to that. Not fun, but doable, and probably cost you about two to three hundred dollars to have a dealer install it so the video shows you how to do it yourself and save that money the Honda fog lights are nice because they have that switch built in it's you know built into the bike but it turns your fog lights off when you turn your high beams on and they do that because in a lot of states, uh, your motorcycle won't pass inspection if your fog lights stay on with your high beams. They require uh, the fog lights to go out when the high beams come on. Now in Texas, I don't even know what the law is. I know that I've had my bike inspected a lot of times and I've never had them even check the fog lights. But I would recommend if you have the Rivco lights with that little proprietary switch, you simply turn them off when you go in to get your bike inspected. And they probably would never even notice it. Now on the previous generation Goldwing, most everybody that made fog lights provided a little jumper that you could install near the relay that would bypass that cutoff feature. So if you wanted to have your high beams on with your fog lights at the same time, you could, you could opt for that little jumper and it would override that capability or that lack of capability. I don't know if anybody's gonna come out with a way on the 2018 to do that with the built-in Honda wiring harness because I don't know if it's even possible. I'm not enough of an electronics guy to know the answer to that question. I'm sure somebody somewhere, somehow, will figure out a way to override that automatic cutoff when you turn on the high beams, but I haven't seen anybody do it yet. The Honda fog lights are not nearly as bright as the Rivco lights. They're nice looking and they're a little bit more complicated to install. There's a pretty involved uh, bracketry uh, mounting system that Honda has put together. And you have to kind of put that assembly together before you install the fog lights. I'm not sure why Honda made it so complicated because Rivco is basically one little bracket that mounts uh, very easily, actually. I'm not sure why Honda felt it necessary to make it so complicated, but they did. But it's, you know, it's doable. It's just a lot of little parts you got to put together first. And I'll show you step by step in the video how to do that. Now next week, I should have my SoCal Moto Gear fog lights in. 
they've asked me to do a video for them on their fog lights and they're kind of unique in that it's a multi-function fog light which means that it has three settings on off and flashing now i'm not sure how this flashing thing works or why it works the way it does but basically each time you hit the switch it goes from on to flashing to off maybe not in that order but it'll be interesting to see what they come up with i've always had good luck with socal moto gear in the past they they make some nice kits and they're actually using the same oem style switch on the console that honda uses so it will be a very similar install and it will look factory oem just like the honda lights but obviously different fog lights down below so I'll be able in a couple of weeks to put out a motor vlog and show you a kind of a side-by-side -side comparison of all three of these and maybe it'll help you make a purchasing decision on which ones you think are better for you. So a lot of cool stuff coming up on Cruise Man's Garage channel. Again, I appreciate all you guys uh, participating. I really appreciate your comments down below. Uh, if you have, you know, give me the thumbs up on the videos. I really appreciate that. And as a quick reminder, I do have maintenance videos for the 2001 to 2017 Goldwing on demand. And I still have them on DVD. I still have some DVDs available. Check out my website at cruisemansgarage.com for more information. And of course, the new series, the 2018 Plus Goldwing maintenance videos where I go into step-by-step -step details about all the different maintenance tasks you can perform on your brand new 2018 to 2019 Honda Goldwing. Thanks for indulging me and allowing me to give my shameless plug. I look forward to hearing your comments and once this cold weather passes I will be out and about again for another motor vlog on Cruise Man's Garage.